Hi, it's Nicole, and this is my A to Z Challenge co-host profile. This next question comes from Sydney Aaliyah Michelle, who is an author of young adult novels, a few titled Another, Lo Another New Life, and uh, she also has a Hope series. Um, she has a few books, and she blogs about tattoos and other other novels that you might enjoy reading and she also blogs about her favorite movies so um check out her blog when you get a chance uh after you watch this video of course <laughs> and uh sydney asks what inspired the mad lab post blog well um to answer this question i sydney i would say that i needed a place to to post updates on my films so you know blogging was the thing and I didn't I don't remember if I had a website but the website wasn't um like operated it wasn't like designed by I didn't know how to like edit the website so I couldn't update it I had to like like wait I had to like depend on a web designer to to do all the updates all the all of the time so I decided to start a blog um, so that I could have like an alternative way to to post updates on projects that I was working on or things that I was doing um, without having to contact the web designer that did my website and then request updates and then wait for the updates to go live that would you know take more time than I desired so so yeah I I started that's how I started blogging so that I could just have like a place where I knew there would be like somewhere that was like constantly updated on my work and eventually the site that I had went down <laughs> I think like the hosting you know I had the hosting wasn't mine either so like someone else was hosting it and then I didn't you know pay for you know to keep it up I didn't continue to pay I had like you know the domain and then the hosting and I think they were like they were separate and then some other parts of that were all separate and so it just went down and, and then I just I just left it because when I started blogging I just figured hey I have this blog so this will be basically my main website you know the blog will serve two pur purposes and I can kill two two birds with one stone that way but then eventually I stopped blogging because I stopped working on a I stopped pursuing like film for a, a little for a while and um I forgot what I was saying so yeah um I thought I stopped working on projects for a while and then that meant that I, you know, when I stopped working on things and I just went through uh, different, some transitions in my life, I stopped having things to blog about. So um, my blog has gone through, the blog itself um, has gone through some transitions since then as well. When I got back into blogging, I was all over the place. I would blog about like television, movies, celebrity stuff and all sorts of just different random topics and for a while I I started to get really into um like commercial based stuff doing like SEO or like all kind of like all of the marketing whatever I don't know I was just all over the place then I decided one day that I would just kind of focus on on other people's films I knew that even though I didn't have like projects in the works that I was working on at the time like continuously working on I knew that making movies is like a hard it's it's very difficult especially making independent films because there's often little money there's you know the budgets are very small and sometimes there's just no money whatsoever and I think that for filmmakers to be able to um, to still like push through that and come out with with something especially things that, you know something that people like I think that that's great and I just want to wanted to use my blog as a platform to help filmmakers um, get 
their work out and so I just decided to kind of write about different different movies that I would hear about or different movies that I would read about so that other people can can know that they that they in- existed and so now I look I still look at it that way and so I just I do both since now I did make a movie <laughs> eventually so I used the blog to to blog about my movie and to blog about other people's movies and to also blog about lessons that we can learn from the movies and all in in um and what goes on behind like on the set and behind the scenes in the making of the movie just everything related to basically what you don't see or what you don't uh what what the audience doesn't really think about i try to like focus on those things and so my thing now is like kind of the same as when i started writing up blogging about other people's films i i feel like i feel like if i don't have if i don't have a project then that then there's no content for my blog and and so i i want to keep blogging so i need content and so there are always movies there's tons of movies being made every year around the world foreign films and whatnot lots of different films so so yeah I'm totally like this answer is like totally dragging <laughs> sorry about that oh my god <laughs> but it'll get better it will it will it will get better <laughs> thank you for this question Sydney and for everyone else who's watching thanks for watching and if you you are a blogger participating in the A to Z challenge stay tuned for more random things about me